This video will show teachers and students how to use Turnitin Draft Coach in any Google Doc. So the first thing that you'll do is open up a Google Doc and click on Extensions. Scroll down to Turnitin Draft Coach and click on it. A little window will open up here on the right. The very first time that you sign into it, you will have to accept the terms of service, check a box and hit OK. And then what it does is it gives you three possible tools that you can use on any Google Doc that you have for an assignment. The first one is the similarity check, which checks your work against works on the internet, as well as works that have been submitted to Shakopee Public Schools. You can do a citation check, which looks at the citations and references that you've made in your work and double checks that they're in the correct format, as well as points out whether you're missing a reference or citation. And lastly, there is a grammar guide which shows you any grammatical errors that you might have in your work. So we're going to just run them really quick and show you what they look like. The first thing is we'll go to the similarity check and run that report. Note that you can only run this three times per document. All right, my similarity check is done and it gives me an overall percentage of 18% and it will show you which sources that your work is most like. What you can do for most of these is click on it and you'll notice here that it says Shakopee Public School District. So that means that 2% of this work is very similar to someone else's work that was submitted to Shakopee's Public Schools, but 2% is rather low, so you don't really need to be too concerned about that. It does bring you to where those errors are and you'll see where some of the similarities are as well. If you would like to run the full report, you can click on View Full Report, and it will show you in a new tab. It will show you the top sources of things that were similar to the work that you submitted. And again, you can click on them to see and navigate through your document where you might need to make some adjustments. And then also, you can click on All Sources and see every single possible source that you are similar to. Next, we're going to go to the citations check and run that. What it does is it looks at the citations and references and format of the citations included in your text, and it may highlight some issues that you have as well. So for example, I have page seven as a citation here, but I did not include anything else about that citation. So it brings me directly to it. I see where that is in the text and I can make adjustments if I need to. And lastly, we're gonna to go to the grammar check, which you can run at any time and run it as many times as you want. If you click on run grammar check, it's going to show you the issues that you have. It is not going to give you a solution to those issues, however. So what you'll need to do is look at what the issue is. For example, missing capital letters, Apparently iPad is spelled wrong, so we can skip over that one. Go to long sentence. And then because I have three long sentences, what I can do is I can use these arrows to scroll between the examples that I have of errors that are related to long sentence. And I can make the corrections as needed. It will give me some advice as well. If I want to go back to one of the other tools, for example, I ran the grammar check, I ran through it, made all my corrections, You'll notice that it will highlight the things that are relevant to that tool. You just might have to wait for a second for it to load. If I go back to my similarity report, for example, you'll notice that blue highlight went away and different highlights appeared. So you can switch between these tools interchangeably. Just remember that you can only run your similarity check three times per document. So that's how you can use Turnitin Draft Coach to check your work prior to submitting to Canvas.